Are you worried about your dog because you think you may have had a stroke? Well, don't panic. Hi, I'm Karen from Happy Kind of World and this is Booney, my darling Italian greyhound. Today, I wanted to try and reassure some of you um, and explain the journey that we've been on. Um, it was back in October 2020 when we were sat on the sofa, as we normally do, and Minnie started acting strangely, sort of pawing at something and her head moved from side to side and her eyes moved rapidly up and down, side to side, really. It was the most scary thing. Um, we phoned the vet and we went to see them thinking the worst, thinking she must have had a stroke or something. And initially the first vet we saw thought it was probably a stroke, but it could be a brain tumor. Now with dogs, if they detect there is a brain tumour, there's nothing they can do. So it would have been the worst news for us. However, this vet referred me to our usual vet. Um, so we came back the next day. And as soon as she saw Minnie with her eyes rolling, she said, I think this is geriatric vestibular disease. And this is a whole different story. Yes, um, sometimes it can be so severe that, you know, there is no hope, but I wanted to come on here to give you some hope if your dog is going through the same thing. It can be such a hideous time um, for Minnie. So when we started out, eventually, I can't remember what tablet she was given. Um, but she, she was given an anti-nausea because obviously when your eyes are moving like that, it's hideous. But she never went off her food, you know. I mean, I'm in a group um, of owners of dogs with vestibular disease and a lot of them went off their food, um, which must have been awful. But she never, she never has done, surprisingly. And anyway, so she was very wobbly on her feet. Um, and she was starting to lose her sight anyway then at that stage. So what did we do? We, whenever she went out to the loo or went for food, then I would have to hold her back legs up with a, a scarf or something soft and guide her out to her bowls. Um, she was the worst thing about it was that she was extremely restless especially at night and i would end up having to come down at two in the morning um, to just, because she didn't know what she wanted you know that horrible feeling where you you know you you just don't know what you want and you're pacing up and down and that's how she she was and um so I had to sleep in the chair in the lounge um, just to, to be next to her. So the things I've tried, um, I bought her one of those lights, like a projector light that you use for babies, you know, when it, it the light shines around and you've got little um, pictures and things, which was supposed to be very good for dogs with this. So you might want to try that if you're worried. Um, it, I don't know whether that helped her um, because I didn't need to use it very long. And then I also got um, tried CBD oil, which is supposed to be amazing for dogs with this. And it did help her a bit initially, but then she became restless again. So I thought, well, I won't uh, I'll sort of knock the oil on the head. So I didn't carry on with that. She has um, raised liver issues, so I was also um, given Denomarin, which I think has been an amazing supplement for her. Um, I thought it was like, 
proper medication, but I think it's more of a supplement because you can buy it. Oh, I got mine on Amazon, it was much cheaper. But if you want to go down that route, you probably want to check with your vet first. Um, but I bought her the Dinamarin, which helps the liver and the brain. And that's obviously something going on with the brain, so it's definitely helped. Um, so when I first kept going back with her, initially at the outset, the vet was like, you know, we may have to think about um, euthanasia. And it was like a real, oh, a, a knife to the heart when she said that. Um, but this girl has never ceased to amaze me um, because she she's just so tough. Nothing stops her. Um, she, I mean, I'm lucky because she's gradually got better from that. Um, it's left her really elderly, though. Um, it, it felt like it happened overnight, you know, where she was one minute on the sofa, Booney, who'd just been out for a run, and the next day, that was it. She was a little old lady, and even her eyesight's going now. So, um, we, it's all about knowing when it's time. She, she's not ready to go anywhere yet. Um, she's... She's very happy in her little life. I think it's worse for us when we see them, you know. The vet said that, that, you know, dogs just get on with it. And what's incredible is that because she's lost her vision and her hearing, she's not, she can't hear us very well anymore, but her nose, her nose is amazing. She can sniff out anything from miles away. She's incredible. A dog's nose is quite a, a wonder. But what worried me was that the fact that if I'd seen a vet who didn't know about vestibular disease, then we might not have Booney. And I mean, we've had her for over a year now, and I, that in itself amazes me. Every day is a miracle with this girl. And I wanted to reassure you and to make you aware of it. So if your vet says to you, maybe your dog's had a stroke or maybe even a brain tumour, then put this to them. Are you sure it's not vestibular disease? Um, so that's it today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Just have a little close-up look of my darling. Oh, oh, she's on the move. And she's gone. <laughs> That was quick. Hang on, let me see if I can show you her. She's just having a little shake there. As you can see, she's a little bit wobbly on her legs. And she is making her way out into the kitchen to check out any food. As you can see, we have to put pads everywhere now um, <laughs> because she tends to go wherever she feels like it these days. Um, so yeah, look at her. She's as you can see, she is wobbly on her feet, but wow, she really gets around, does this girl? <laughs> Stop. Stop. This is a bolshy boonie. Stop. She's she's not always Stop. the little angel she appears. Mm -hmm. Look at her demanding. Stop. <laughs> Come on then, eat it up. In. So that's it for Boonie. What I should say is that she is also a plant-based dog and um, if you have any questions at all about what I've just discussed then please do leave a comment below. In the meantime I will leave you with um, another video that I did of her when she was having a bath that I think you might enjoy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Bye for now.